Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 6. In our last episode, which had a horrible sound problem, which we should have fixed for this episode, we traveled south. Ooh, let's go ahead and take a look there. We traveled south past Trinzic down to the shrine, and we got, we got rid of the evil magical force there. So I've come back up to Britain, and I've gotten healed up, and we are ready to travel on, and we are going to head to... Uh, ooh, that's neat. We're going to head north, and we're going to make our way to Empath Abbey. I'm debating whether we should stop at this city for now. I'm going to say no, because there's no shrine here. We need to do the shrines first. So we're going to head past Empath Abbey, actually. It will go to the City of Yu so that we can get to the Shrine of Justice and we'll see just how far we can get in this episode. That, that my friends, is the plan. So, let us continue our adventure. So basically we're going to head, oh, I've got to get my map ready for myself to see so I don't get lost. We're going to head along here, along the King's Way. This is not going to be too exciting, this part. We're just going to kind of be walking. Just to get where we need to go. See if we find any interesting sights along the way. You never know what we may come across. There is a strange house over here. I want to see what's going on over at this little, like, cottage nestled away in the mountains. Yeah! Ooh, something to the west. Ooh, who are you? Who is this? You see a tall man with muscles, looking like huge snakes. Speak, he growls at you, his voice is rough and cold as stone. What's your name? Are you taking a census? Uh, why do you have a problem with the census? Yes, you know, county people, taking down names, okay, what's your job? He ignores the question, you think it wise not to ask at the end. Um... Join us? He ignores the question. So it's just a random random fighter staring out of the swamp. That seems exciting. Is there anybody inside this little house? Anybody home? No one home. So we just have, have an angry man, an angry fighter, hanging out by a cottage. Well, that was it. Ah! What... We were just attacked by a, a, a feral cat. I don't know what that was about. But we have killed a cat. Who attacked us out of nowhere. That was unexpected. To say the least. Let's continue our journey past the mountains. We should be getting pretty close to the point where we will turn north in the road here it looks like. We listen to our calm traveling music. Yes, we can head north. Through these woods and across a couple streams. Oh man, everything is so far away in this world. Why can't it all be closer? I've really gotta look into how to teleport. Really should look into that. But until then, we will continue our walkabout of Britannia. But you never know what we'll come across just wandering about. So the screen was shaking oddly there. Oh, we got a cool little bridge. That was neat. There's another bridge right there. That's pretty cool. We would never have seen those bridges if we had uh, teleported. Something to the west. Are we going to get attacked by a cat again, I wonder? Who knows? We'll see if we get attacked here. Just keep going. Nope. But in case things do go wrong, uh, let's go ahead and do a save. Since we have traveled quite a bit. There we go. Something to the east. Woods are full of danger, it would appear. But we are luckily avoiding it all. Ooh, 
We have a sign. What's this sign say? YOLO's place! Hey! YOLO, it's your house! Let's go check it out! Oh, uh, let's see. YOLO, where is your house? Should be over here somewhere. Ow. There it is. There's YOLO's place. Ah, oh, we got a horse! Can we get inside of this little corral? Can we... Look at the horse's butt. Thou dost see a horse! Wait. Wasn't there a talking horse in a previous game? You see a fine looking horse. Hello, my name is Smith. Who are you? I remembered a talking horse. I am Grugtar. Oh, I had something important to tell you. I can't remember what it was, though. Ooh, I don't remember. What did we ask the talking horse about? Um... What's your name? It's Smith, like blacksmith. Okay, uh, blacksmith. They make my shoes. What about shoes? They're nailed to my feet. See, he holds up a hoof for you to look at. Ooh, what about your feet? You should try it. Saves you from looking for your shoes every morning. Farewell, two leggers. That's a. Uh... Ah, oh, shoot! I skipped through some dialogue there. I didn't realize it was gonna pop up. We'll get that to pop up again. Oh no! Can we scroll back up through this dialogue? Oh no! Well, you'll have to pause the video at the right time. Uh, anything else going on in Yolo's house here? Got like a uh, a chest of drawers with nothing, uh, some torches and stuff in it, but that's it. Nothing really important. You see Yolo. Well. That's Yolo's house, and there's a talking horse here, in case we need to uh, know that in the future. We'll just have to remember that. That was neat. A nice callback to a previous game. Alright. Well, we are almost at Empath Abbey, according to my map. Ooh. Shimino hears something to the north. Hopefully we don't get attacked heading into Empath Abbey here. Oh, it's some some bugs. I'm not sure I want to fight bugs in town. Seems like you could accidentally kill villagers that way. So this is the Empath Abbey area. I'm thinking let's not do anything here yet let's keep heading around and get all the way here is Yolo's hut by the way uh, let's quickly head all the way around to you itself let's not get sidetracked as is known to happen I am really good at getting sidetracked games so we'll just kind of continue on our our journey here path past the Abbey Forward this little river. Head on up. Woo! This is a lot of walking. Tell you what. The Avatar's legs would get tired if I was the Avatar. I'm just saying. I don't like walking. We got cars these days. Who needs to walk? That's just silly. Alrighty, we have arrived in you. Let's see if we can't rest a couple hours. Um, just because it is almost nighttime. Let time go by us here. And uh, let's rest. Oh. Uh, let's rest about another five. Just to get daytime back for us. There we are. Are we through all of our food? Hey, we're out of food. Huh. I didn't think it would use it unless... Ah, uh, well. Note to self, we may have to buy food later on. Okay. 
Uh, there's a bunch of food in here if we want to steal it, but we're not thieves. So here we are in the city of you. Got a big city, a big place here to rot to walk into, and a couple other buildings. Let's check them out. First things first. Looks like we have an inn of some type. Here we have a woman. She's a fancy looking woman. You see the druid. <gasps> It's Jaina, the druidess. Remember her? Grugtar, tis a great joy and relief to see thou hast returned to Britannia, my lord. She greets your other traveling companions. Everyone seems pleased to be reunited, albeit under tense circumstances. Mayhap I can help thee in thy struggle against the gargoyles. Thou needst but ask, and I will gladly join. Yes! Join us, Jaina. Welcome to the party. All right. What's Jaina come equipped with? She's got herself a sword, uh, a bunch of money. Let's uh, let's move this money to Grug. There we go. And she's got a couple torches on her. But hey, Jane is back. Let's check her out. Does she have magic? Oh, she has no magic. That's upsetting. But 120 hit points. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Let's talk to the, uh, ooh, what's in here? Just your regular cookery. We got another party member! Woo! Ah! You see an enormous woman, both in size and personality. Hello, fellas! She screams as she strides over to you with beer mugs in her hand. Welcome to the Slaughtered Lamb. What can I get you? What's your name, lady? Andrea, and yours, my fine friend, I am Grugtar. I'm very pleased to meet you, she purrs. What's your job? Honey, I've had many jobs in my time, but running this pub is the best, because I get to meet the strongest men. I sell ribs, ale, mead, wine, and rations. Tell us about the men you've met. Look around here. You'll find the men whose lives have led them to many dangerous places. Someone in the dark corner shouts, Like this pub! And all the patrons laugh. Ha ha ha! Well, that's nice. Come back when you're thirsty. And if you see that cutie Utomo, tell him Andrea says hi. Alrighty, so a pub and we got a new party member with us. I feel like, how do we change the order of people here? Like this puts us to the next person. There's no order of people. And if we look at the manual, it's just something kind of bothering me. I know I know y'all love seeing me go through all this on here. But if we look at the commands... Uh, nope. Talk, look, get dropped. Z. Yeah, no. Would you have to, like, drop your party off and then come back and get them in the order that you wanted them to show up, I guess? I don't know. That seems rather annoying, but it's ultimate. I mean, we've seen worse commands had to be done. All right. We got a couple more houses here, though, to check out. Maybe we'll get another party member. Who knows? All right, and here we got a gentleman hanging out. Woo! He's got a fancy shirt. Looks like a tailor. You see a short, fat, rosy-cheeked man with long hair covering his eyes. The man seems afraid of you. What, what do you want? What's your name, buddy? A faint as a whisper comes the word Lenard. What's your job? I'm a tailor. Tell me about being a tailor. I sew pants, tunics, and dresses, my lord. I use a lot of thread. All right, so he uses thread, but but none of you has any thread to sell, so he would buy thread from us. Okay. So if we had some thread, we could sell it to him. Ooh, looks like we've got a guy in the stocks here. What's up, buddy? Person in stocks. You see a long-haired, raggedy man. What's your name? I'm Sen Sinjin the Warrior. What's your job? The Lord said I should stay in these stocks for a while and make sure they work properly. Ooh, who's 
Lenora. Justice may be a virtue, but I think she carries it too far. Okay, tell me about the virtue. I prefer Mandrake's version of the eight virtues. What are... Who's Mandrake? You should ask him about it sometime. So we're going to ask Mandrake about the virtues. Oh! There's the guillotine right there. Well, I mean, you is the town of justice. I mean, it's to be expected. There's like some barracks, probably, for soldiers. There's the pub, a sundial. Ah! This is probably Lenora. You see a tall, stern woman with gray and red hair and a perpetual scowl. Welcome, worthy avatar, to the Hall of Justice. How may we assist thee in thy quest? What's your name? I am Lenora, Lady Mayor of you. What's your job? It is my honor to preside over this town and its courts. We also provide the finest wood in the realm. Tell me about the courts. In you, we take pride in our system of justice. Tell me about justice. Indeed, the rune of justice itself was set here for safekeeping. Where's the rune? A thief stole the rune from the grave of our most respected resident, the former Lord Mayor. Even though the thief was caught, we have not yet found the rune, okay? Where's the thief at? The thief is in the jail awaiting the carriage of justice. All right. How about the mantra while we're here? Tis most strange, Avatar, that thou knowest not the mantra of justice. How can that be? Well, I know it. I just thought I'd ask. Humph. Well, it would be best for you to seek such wisdom elsewhere. Thou may return when thou seest fit to answer my question. All right. So this is just a bedroom. So we gotta find the jail, which I'm gonna bet is this building right here. Yep. All right. So we have to find this thief. I'm gonna bet you it's that one of these dudes. You see an old man, tall and thin. He spends all his time whittling. Good morning, my lord. What can I do for you? Uh, what's your name? Name's Pridgrim. I'm looking for the thief. He's in solitary right over there. Well, they're all in solitary. Okay, is this the guy? A child. Funny, no response. Alright, so it's not him. Let's see if it's this. Ooh, game's getting weirdly laggy. Peasant, no response. How about this guy? Huh. Can I open these doors or are they locked? They're locked. Hmm. I don't know why that guy has a club in prison. And Mage has two swords in prison. And this child has nothing. Alright. Let's see if we can get a little more information out of Pridgarm, the man doing some whittling. We're looking for the rune. Take my place to talk about that. You should go see her ladyship, the mayor. I did. I'm looking for the thief. Where is Solitary? You'll need my key to get in there. All right, can I have the key? Yep, I could give you the key, but not without her ladyship's permission. All right. You got a letter of permission from her ladyship? No. Well, gotta have a letter if you want to see the thief. All right. So let's head back to her ladyship up here. Hello, your ladyship. All right. Yes, your perpetual scowl. I certainly hope thou will be more respectful this time. Ah, I must have... I'm a bad person, apparently, somewhere. Um, what is... Uh, we need the key. Noble Avatar, the affairs of state weigh heavily upon my time. Pray be precise in thy questioning. Permission. A letter of permission? Does you, thou truly need to speak with that reprehensible thief? Yes. Very well, then, putting quill to parchment, she drafts a quick letter. The jailer will now let you in, or verily shall he answer to me. Bye! May you find that which thou deserves in thy quest. Okay? So we have a slip of permission. There's, oh, there's something to the southwest, like a wolf or something outside of town that is 
causing the delay as it moves around. All right. Uh, we have permission to use the key. You got a letter of permission? Yes. Okay, here's the key. Give it back when you're done. Afternoon. All right, so... Okay, first things first. I can't deal with this weird slowdown. Before we open this, let's get up here. We're going to save the game. And we're going to go out and we're going to kill whatever is outside of town that is causing this terrible slowdown. I literally cannot take it. It is something like just over here. Oh! Oh, it's a gazer! Let's see how many people he puts to sleep. And a bunch of flies. Now you see why it was slowing down. Like, this is just... Silly. And Jane is the only one taking any damage because he doesn't have any armor. Everybody else is not impressed. I mean, even the Avatar. Yeah, Jane is the only one getting hurt because she has no armor. We gotta get her some armor. If we can make our way to the Gazer. Ah, oh, come on. Kill these flies, buddies. There we go. One more down. This is silly. This is beyond silly. Oh goodness gracious, come on. They are insects. Thank you, Jaina, for moving. There we go. Woo! Jaina, you are you are just going to die from this, and it's going to be very upsetting. Can I take control of Jaina? No. I can't. There we go. We need to kill some of the flies that are right around her. Maybe she won't be taking as much damage if we do. This was a, an unexpected combat. I did not expect it to be this dangerous. Out of nowhere. I mean, it's just a bunch of flies. Come on, team. How are we being so ineffectual against these? I mean, I literally am going to have to reload if Jaina dies because of these flies. There's not even that many of them anymore. Now. See, we can't beat up the Reaper a little bit, but oh my goodness, Jaina, run away. 
There are still so many of them! Oh no! Well, this is gonna have been a, uh... This was a folly. Alright, so we need to get Jaina some armor. That's the thing that I'm realizing right now, because... We'd be fine here if Jaina had some armor. So let's restore the game that we saved right here. We'll uh, not go down and fight those guys. We'll let them just do their thing. Alright, so we should have the key. Now that we're back from that little side adventure, there's our key. Uh, let's go ahead and use the key here on the door. No effect, so it's not that one. There are two mages. They've doubled up. Oh, he's here in solitary. That's why. Use this key on that door. Okay. Use the key again. Nope, not that then. Oh, I see. You have to look in the windows. That's kind of a neat idea. Alright, let's talk to this guy. You see a short, heavyset man dressed in rags. Who's there? The thief calls instantly. Grugtar. The thief's tone becomes more respectful as he recognizes you. Struth! It's the Avatar! You've got to get me out, my lord. What do you mean, get you out? I admit I robbed that grave. But it were only because his lordship wouldn't be needing that stuff no more. I had me kids to feed, didn't I? What kids? Tears fill the man's eyes. My poor children. I've got no one to take care of them now. I only stole to feed them, and that's the truth. Is that the truth? True, of course it's true. Even a thief like me wouldn't lie to the Avatar. Where's the rune? I'll tell you where the rune is if you'll let me go. I've got me kids to think of. How do I let you go? You mean it, my lord? Are they going to let me go? Home? No. His face falls. And I ain't saying nothing. I've got my kids to think of. All right. Please, my lord, tell them to let me go. All right. So I guess we're going to need to go back and talk to the lady. I'm so upset about those gnats that just kicked our butt. Hello. Hello again, Avatar. I want to talk to you about the thief. The thief is in the jail. Can we let him go home? What? Free the thief and return for the rune? Never. To do so would betray everything the rune itself stands for. Better to leave as lost. What about his kids? What? What stories has that thief been telling you? He has no family. He's just a drifter. Don't be taken in by his lies. Alrighty. So let's go back and call that thief a liar, shall we? Oh, those bugs are killing the frame rate. There we go. Hey, I'm back. Boy, am I glad to see thee, my lord. You're my last light. Uh, why did you lie to me? Alright, I admit it. I haven't got any kids. That stupid cow they got running this place won't listen to reason. A little give and take, you know what I mean? I'll tell you what. If I tell you where the rune is, will you take it away? I don't want these pompous blighters to have it, okay? Yes. All right, I'll take your word for it. Go to the slaughtered lamb. I hid the rune under a potted plant there. And spit on her ladyship for me. Well, I won't be spitting on her ladyship, but I will go back to the in here. And there's a potted plant. Let's take a look. See a plant, but we find nothing. Ah, there's another one. It's probably here. Searching the plant finds nothing. This is the slaughtered lamb, right? Oh, maybe I have to use... Oh, wait. Nope. Maybe I have to use the plant. Not usable. Not usable. Okay. 
He just said it was here. Yeah, this is the slaughtered lamb. In a potted plant. Aw, oh, did he lie to us again? Oh, I'm going to be upset. There's no root in these plants. I... Mm. Making me walk back by where that stupid thing is. Hey, you. <sighs> All right, I admit a lie. I'll tell you what, take it away. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I know what I need to do. It probably, if it's underneath the plant, I probably need to move the plant. You think that might be it? Aha! That was it. So there is the Rune of Justice. Let's get the Rune of Justice. Let's also make sure we give this key back. Uh, we don't need to seal the key. Uh, so we're going to move the key. Oh. Maybe I just talked to him. Key. There we go. Yep. Much obliged. And he took the key from us. Alrighty. So, we have the Root of Justice. We can now head to the Shrine of Justice and clear that out because we'll also know the mantra from our previous game. So, that is where we'll end this episode. We're getting farther along in our quest, folks. I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Watch out for gnats. Ooh, let's uh get our shield back on the avatar. Watch out for gnats and reapers because apparently that's one of the most dangerous things in the game, folks. Thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. And as always, as always, we hope to see you soon.